saw Bob Ross Deadpool, I saw Woody Deadpool. Did anybody see a Peter Pool? Is there a Peter Pool out there anywhere?
really can't say much because I, um... I... Say it. Give it to him, Tim. Give it to him! No spoilers. I want them to bring me back. <laughs> and, uh... Um, 16 years. Yeah, right. Exactly. And I say how happy I am that he's back. No, no, no little chat left behind. That, that, that he was there on the floor with his head beginning to bulge. And now here we are. Yeah, and by the time I brought back again, uh, Jacuto, brother, where art thou, will be coming fabulous. <laughs> So um, anyway, uh, they wrote uh, a, a great story for him, and uh, I think people are going to be pretty excited. All right. Uh, Danny, Danny, you're no stranger to disguise. Can you share anything about the sequences in this film? How are those wings, and what's the secret to looking cool while flying through the air? Wow, I feel. I'm going to. Oh no, I think. Uh, well, that's one of the first times I hear it out loud too said in public, but I, uh, I just I feel at home in the skies, and so it's cool to take these wings that uh, have gone through many iterations and um, some wear and tear for years and years. Um, I thought they also came with knee braces too because they're a little bit older, but... Uh, <laughs>
I, uh, I, I, I would have known unless he actually had been asked. <laughs> Oh my god. 
You guys didn't dress up? <laughs> guys, guys, I, I sent that email. <laughs> Rewrite your mom walk in that pivotal scene in Act 2 that you would dress up! My number. <laughs> guys, you guys were the worst! Nobody dressed up except for Julia! Thank you, Julia. Oh my god! Guys, I'm so embarrassed! Well, thank you. Florence Pugh. I think that girl has your back and she just really doesn't. Okay. She doesn't want to wear it for you. My God, please, if we could just thank you. <laughs> Ford is playing President Thunderbolt Ross in Brave New World, but he's not actually in Thunderbolts. What's going on? That is correct. Mr. Ford plays that is Thunderbolt Ross, and these wonderful actors play the Thunderbolts because sometimes in 85 years of comic history, writers and artists use the same name. <laughs> hey, Jake, what's with the asterisk? Oh, the, oh, the asterisk. Uh, I can tell you that it means something. <laughs> You want me to tell them what it means? You don't. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. You have to see the movie. <laughs> hey, Sebastian. Sebastian, it's been over 13 years. Eight movie appearances. A lot of action series. They're a Marvel veteran at this point. What stands out for you about Thunderbolt's asterisk? <laughs> what's, what's my thoughts oh. about it? What stands out about Thunderbolts? Oh, uh, <clears throat> not Dan <David> Harbour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one, I think. This one right here. I have, uh, I have some suspicious thoughts. <laughs> I, I hope you said boots and not boobs. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, with that, Florence, a lot of these characters don't necessarily play well with others. What can you tell us about the team dynamic? Well, that's the joy of watching them together, is that they don't play well together. Um, in terms of their dynamics, I mean, we had a, a, a real ride because we actually loved working with each other, and we clearly understand each other because we've all accidentally matched Bar Lewis. <laughs> totally. Oh, Lewis. The Geraldine and Lewis, welcome to the MCU. Kick ass 
in the Marvel Universe. I think that's a good one. Question of this, like you stole your uniform from Zach. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I got it on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> the only one in Vancouver who does Red Guardian and Green Goblin exclusively. <laughs> uh, email, email me that. Um, hey Wyatt, what can you tease about your character in Thunderbolts? <laughs> Everyone's gonna fucking love me. <laughs> I, I get put up on this stage. I feel like Kevin, this is a recurring thing. I just say, I don't know, and you have some pure joy out of me. <laughs> no clue what to say. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it's going to be fun. It's really, really, really fun to be with a group of actors that you love being with and uh, have a good time. So whatever comes out and you guys watch and you guys see on film was um, one of my favorite experiences that I've ever had working uh, just being with a group of great people, and that I hope comes comes through honestly uh, through. You know, I guess it's a bad answer for me, but for everybody, uh, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Uh, hey, Sebastian, what's the best part about playing Bucky after all these years? I don't know. It's uh, you know, like having nine lives. Uh, how many are left? <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, it's, it's been really a privilege, honestly. I, I remember being on the stage with Captain America Winter Soldier, and I was so terrified at the time that I was like, it's okay, he has a mask, he doesn't speak. I don't have to speak. Um, but it's such a, I'm so grateful to see everybody here, and to be up here with this incredible, talented people, and so, I'm grateful. Right on. Reunite with his adopted daughter Yelena. What's it like for these two characters to be back on a job again? Aww. <laughs> I mean, I I want to reiterate what Wyatt said about this group of people. I had one of the greatest experiences of my life working on this movie as well. They're all wonderful, but I do have a favorite, and uh, her name is Florence Pugh. And, uh, I think she's, uh, she's this up-and-coming actress, you may hear more about her. <laughs> um, but she is just electric to work with, and I think the complexity between their relationship this time around, we got to go to all these different levels, and then there's like warmth and humor, but there's also a lot of pathos between the fact that, uh, you know, he's a terrible narcissist who has a hard time showing up for other people, and she's very dedicated to killing people, I guess. It's not a good combination for a relationship, the start of a relationship. But we do get to go to a lot of great places, and uh, it was truly such a joy to work with these people, and uh, I'm really proud of what we, what we did. Oh. All right. Well, I got one more question for Florence. Florence, I heard a rumor that you do some of your own stunts on this one. Can you share anything? I mean... I think we all like feeling cool doing stunts, but I, I, I can't claim all the stunts because there is a no way that any of us would look as cool as we did without our stunties and the stunt team, the stunt coordinator, Heidi Moneymaker, whose stunt double stole at Johansson for 10 years. Um, so yes, I like doing my own stunts, but I also appreciate that maybe they make it look cooler sometimes. But we have something to show you. see some of these stunts and I would like to say that um, the first time I was here was four years ago and and then the last time I was here and I remember the energy that all of you guys gave us and it honestly lived in me for about a year after and I just want to say thank you so much for all of you being here and for giving us the energy again. is so felt by every single time we come into contact with you and your love and your fandom, so thank you so much. This movie, <laughs> this movie is so um, wonderful and bizarre and it's very brave and it's because of this cast, this director, the producers, the stunts, the bloody stunts, oh my God, the stunt team. And I really, really hope that you 
recognize it and that you feel it too. And we are so proud and we are so impressed. And I'm so happy that we're here again. And I'm so grateful that you guys are the first to see a snippet of our movie. And I hope you enjoy it. future 60s. So a lot of it was about finding inspiration from the futurists of that time, especially Sid Mead, and using that as an as inspiration to build a whole new world that is part of the New York that you know from the 60s and something you've never seen before. But more than just the visual aesthetics, uh, the 60s to me is all about optimism. It's about looking to the stars and about dreaming about traveling into space. It's about how with the right heart and the right mind you can do anything, which is what the Fantastic Four is all about. And so it's more about capturing the spirit and the tone, which is not a bad segue, because I put something together for you guys. Um, and we haven't started shooting yet, but we put together a little bit of pre-shoot stuff, some animatics, we, we've, we've kind of cobbled together something to give you a sense of what this movie will be about. Um, and so, do you guys want to see it? Yeah! Let's do it. Uh, that, uh, that is the official title, the Fantastic Four First Steps, and that amazing music you heard was our composer, Michael Giacchino. Uh, he'll, be here, he'll be here with us right now, but he's hosting a NASA panel somewhere else on the convention floor, for real, which I thought was apropos. Oh, I have got a little gift that everybody here is going to get. It's a Fantastic Four fan and map, and you're all going to get one. Pretty cool surprise. Uh, and the other surprise is that the cast is all here. Ladies and gentlemen. Question for you. 
What was your reaction the first time you saw yourself in the super suit? Oh, uh, I don't know. I feel like it was uh, just a couple of days ago. Um, I'm still, I'm still processing it. You, 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 you gotta give me a few more hours. All right, I'll come back with some more questions. <laughs> hey, Pedro, you've had a role in some pretty. You've had a role in some pretty impressive nerd franchises. What feels different about joining the MCU? You family. <laughs> I, 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 nobody knows it. Matt and I have known each other for like 25 years. <laughs> and um, we started with the same talent manager, actually, and he almost became my roommate in 1999. And he came and he saw the place and was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, that's different. <laughs> that's a true story, yep. I love that. Hey, Vanessa and Joseph, you two play siblings. Did you do any brother-sister bonding to prepare? Well, we're both the only Brits in the class, aren't we, pretty much? That's the truth. So we're, we're going to get down the pub and make everyone come with us, because we're filming in London, aren't we? And we're the Londoners, so we've got to show everyone a good time. Seems only right, yes. Right <laughs> on. Um, hey, Evan, uh, we're here in Hall H with some MCU veterans. Did you get any advice from fellow Marvel actors about playing the MCU? Um, good question, Rob. <laughs> I did, you know what, actually I did, um, this is going to be a boring, fairly earnest answer, but I got a really nice uh, text message from Mark Ruffalo because, you know, uh, as it's just, it's just uh, to sort of demystify the process of motion capture and because it's something I've never really done before, and he sent me this very long, um, generous text about how, you know, just simplifying it and taking it away kind of I was a bit scared of the technology and just sort of saying, you know, it's just like, you know, making scenes like, you know, normal, normal scene work. Uh -huh. so, that was really nice. Uh, That's very nice. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Joseph, with this 60 plus years legacy of this title, and this being Marvel Studios' first venture with these characters, what's one thing you hope to bring out from your character that fans could be excited for? Evan? <laughs> One way going to it. I think we're all collectively going to bring uh, an essence that is a family. Rather than thinking about what we individually are going to bring, we're, it's a team sport, this. And we're all going to work very hard to bring a feeling of a family to this, to this film. That's what it needs. Hey, man, you got a question for Vanessa. After a week of rehearsals and pre shoot, what new things have you learned about your family? Individually or together? Yeah, I guess, you know what? I honestly, I don't think I've laughed so much in a rehearsal period before. We laugh so much and it's so beautiful to be at work. And you know, we're all really so dedicated to try and make it the best we can. And we feel so kind of, um, we want to do it justice. And it's amazing reading the comics from the 60s all the way up and seeing this family that has traveled with so many people in life. We feel so honored to be a, you know, a part of it, and, um, but to laugh through it, which I hope we can capture in the movie, because when you read the comics, it's got such joy in it, and so I think you, we can say we've laughed a lot. We cried a lot so many days, so hopefully we can bring that to the movie. But uh, you start shooting on Monday back in the UK. Don't you have to get more? we, we got to go. Yeah. yeah. yeah the <laughs> they, they literally have to fly back, but the good thing about that is they have their own fantastic car. Which is able to actually keep that hopefully very, very quickly.
uh, that the fantastic forecast and many other members you've seen today will also be appearing in the two Avengers films that we're making. Yes. Yes. You want to hear a little bit about the Avenger films? Now, one thing that, that people uh, have been asking uh, of late is who the heck is going to direct these two movies? Universe. 
We give you the one person who could play Victor Von Doom. Thank you. 